Hi everyone on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and football fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts about Week 12. Mean, mean um, in my picks for Week 13 for the 2023 NFL season. Check it out. Well, for my thoughts about Week 12, I went straight up 10 and 6, and now I'm 111.68 overall in the year. It was a good bounce back. Um, from that for straight up. And I guess the spread was a little bit of a bounce back too from last week because I went eight and six and two overall in the year. Now I'm 87, 80, and eight overall in the year. So it's pretty good with eight pushes on that, to say the least. And over and under, um, 17, um, I went two and four and went 17 and 23 overall in the year. All right, for my thoughts about um, week 12, um, Detroit and Green Bay on Thanksgiving. The shirt's the reason why I'm wearing this today. <laughs> this in this in this week's schedule. So, just so you know, but D Detroit fought back to came back, but it just fell short. I mean, that's how it goes on that one. But to say the least, that was one of my over and unders I got right. So that was the ones I did that. So anything in in that. But Jordan Love, it looks like he's coming in on his own. So we'll have to tune in to see see what happens. Dallas and Washington. It kind of was expected for Dallas to do that because you know Detroit's an under five hundred team though, and they have to win it. If they, most of them, they haven't beaten above 500 team yet. So maybe this week. Who knows? San Francisco and Seattle. Now San Francisco holds their own on the NFC North. I think they clinched it last night, that week, I think. I don't know. So that's too early to tell on that one. But anyways, continue, but Seattle's hanging in there on their own. So anything could happen. Miami and the New York Jets. Miami, one, still another above, under 500 team from Miami. So let's see what happens. Anyways, this for the New Orleans Saints, and Atlanta. I wouldn't have thought that Atlanta would have outdueled Miami, I mean on New Orleans, but they did. Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. It just goes to show you that Cincinnati is in trouble. That's all I can say. Tennessee and Carolina. Congratulations, Tennessee! You won the toilet bowl. Indianapolis and Tampa Bay. I mean, that game was pretty much a close one until the end. So, yeah, that's the way it turned out. And I would say this, my the New York Giants and my Patriots. I told you all from the beginning what will happen, and I was not wrong. Bill Belichick against his former mentors, 0-7. So, that's all I could tell you. And now, because of that, we're in ranking number two overall in the year in the draft, and we'll see how that one turns out. It just goes to show you that we're pretty much a bad football team. We're pretty much bad as the San Jose Sharks in the NHL right now. That's how I'm not comparing it to. Let's just continue it on. Anyways, continuing on with that. Jacksonville Jaguars and Houston Texans. That was pretty much a really close game. That looked like almost a... Um, could have been a playoff game between the two, those two teams. And the way the lookout was going, CJ Stroud played really well. I really thought he did. So anyways, continuing with that. For anyone, in the, to say the least, Jacksonville did get the win, which they needed. I, I think this seals the deal to clinching Jacksonville to be the a AFC South champions. Not yet, but it's coming to that. Anyways, Cleveland and Denver. Cleveland, uh, well, says to say Cleveland was a big disappointment. Now Denver won five straight. The Rams in Arizona. Rams just dominated the Arizona Cardinals. They just dominated them. The Philadelphia Eagles and the Buffalo Bills. That looked like a Super Bowl preview right there where we saw. The Super Bowl of the season, I would say. But to say the least. But now the question comes talking in. Now with that loss with Buffalo. Now they're really way behind in the, the playoff picture. I'm starting to think right now. If I were Buffalo, I would fire Sean McDermott next. After Ken Dorsey. I would really think that should be the case right now. If they don't make the playoffs, I think he's canned. I really think he's canned. So, now, I'm not going to say he's a bad coach. I think he'd get another a good coaching job somewhere else. But the way how he handled Buffalo, not very good. Not very good. I don't know what would, they were thinking on the last drive against Philadelphia when they hold it in for the, um, the – when Philadelphia got the game when he touched down, they're all looking back. They all expected a pass, but he got a run. Then he ran it in for – then Jalen Hurts ran it in for the game when he touched down. That closed the deal for Philadelphia winning the game. 
And that goes to show you that maybe Philadelphia can clinch the a uh, NFC South if they can win this week. The NFC and NFC South, the NFC if they get the once the number one in the NFC if they get that. So now Buffalo's questioning right now. Now they got a buy coming up, which I'll get to the buys in a bit. So, but now they got to hold their own. Think about it. Now they got another tough schedule with Kansas City. See how that one's going to turn out for them. But I'm, it's not looking really good for Buffalo right now. Anyways, continuing on. Speaking of um. Speaking of um, uh, Kansas City, Kansas City beat up the Las Vegas Raiders. Did hold it. Kansas City's back. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, ball in Baltimore and the LA Chargers didn't pan out the way it did. I thought it was going to be a blowout for for Bolt for Baltimore, but they, they end up winning by ten. Hey, got the spread right. That's all I can matter in that. But I didn't get the over and under. Minnesota and Chicago. Congratulations, Chicago! You got your Super Bowl. Beating one of your divisional opponents. But it wasn't it was pretty an ugly game though. But anyways, that's my um thoughts about week twelve. Let's get on to my um week thirteen picks. Well, before I get to my picks, uh I've got to the buys. Like I mentioned, the Buffalo Bills, the Baltimore Ravens, Chicago Bears, Las Vegas Raiders, the Minnesota Vikings, and the New York Giants. If you have for the Baltimore Ravens, like Lamar Jackson or the Ravens defense, or the Buffalo Bills, like um if you have Josh Allen, or if you, if you have Stephon Diggs, or if you got um, the Buffalo's defense, or for the Bears, if you have um, if you have Justin Fields, or you have Justin Fields, or if you have the Raiders, if you have Devontae Adams, or or the Minnesota Vikings, if you have the Vikings defense, or or if you have the New York Giants, or or Daniel Jones or their defense, fetch them this week because they won't be playing this week. Anyways, continuing on for that for Week Thirteen. Let's get on to week 13 picks. Picking out the Thursday night games, the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys. Both teams played on Thanksgiving. Now they got a full week for that. Now let's see how that one's going for Seattle. So this is a kind of ticky-tacky top in this one. As I mentioned about Sean McDermott being fired, if Seattle don't win this game and if they don't make the playoffs, I think Pete Carroll should be in the hot seat too after what he's comparing to what he's doing and what, how it's going on in Denver with Russell Wilson and, and over down there. But anyways, continuing on with that, that's a little a topic for another day with that. If, if they got to win out to think about that one. If, if they win, I'll reconsider that. But if they don't, I would keep that in mind. Anyways, that being said, for Seattle and, da- and for Dallas, though, I would probably say that it, it's a home team. This is, I must win for Dallas because Dallas needs a win in the home. Well, at least to keep the wild card hopes alive. But... Anyways, to say the least. Anyways, in the in the say the least, the guess the spread is a little questionable, but I will say this though. But I will take the Dallas Cowboys at home against Seattle and to win this game. I misjudge on that one. So, anyways, continuing on with that. On the line now, Dallas is favored by nine, nine to win this game. That's too many points though. Even with the, even with that though. So I'm gonna take the Seattle plus nine because they're I think Seattle's six and five, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, anyways, I'll take Seattle plus nine. Over and under, it's 46. I'm gonna go over 46. Anyways, continuing on with that. The Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. Indianapolis still hanging in there. Tennessee, not so much either. So, anyways, coming in on their own. Somebody's gotta win. I'm gonna take the Indianapolis Colts over the Tennessee Titans to win this game. On the line, Indianapolis is favored by two in this game. We're going to take Indianapolis minus two. The LA Chargers and my New England Patriots. If this is a, it's a game that that's really neat. If, if this is the game that the Chargers need to win, this is it. As much as I hate to say it, I think it's all set and done for my Patriots. So I'm going to take the Indianap- I'm going to take the LA Chargers over my Patriots to win this game in at in New England. On the line note, the LA Chargers are favored by six in this game. I'm going to take the Chargers minus six. Detroit Lions and the New Orleans Saints. Detroit is really pissed off, and they're going to take it out on the New Orleans Saints. So I'm going to take the New Orleans, the Dallas Cowboys over the New Orleans Saints to win this game. On the line note, the Lions are favored by four in this game. I'm going to take the uh, the Detroit Lions minus, minus four. Atlanta and the New York Jets. Atlanta, no. Nah. Was not expected that way. Expected to be with Atlanta out of playing the tough, te- a tough New York Jets defense team. I think they can pull this one out in in New York. 
So I would take the Atlanta Falcons over the New York Jets to win this game. On the line, though, Atlanta's favorite. Two and a half to win this game. I'm going to take Atlanta minus two and a half. The Pittsburgh Steelers and the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this is a game I'm still questioning who might win. But since Pittsburgh has the need to win more than Arizona, I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers over the Arizona Cardinals to win this game. On the line, though, I'm gonna, this is where I'm going to get Arizona. Pittsburgh is favored by 5.5 to win this game. I'm going to take Arizona plus 5.5. The Miami Dolphins and the Washington Commanders. So, this game, as as what happened to the Washington Commanders on Thanksgiving, Miami's going to do the same thing with the Washington Commanders. So, I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins over the Washington Commanders to win this game. On the line, though, Miami's favored by 9.5 to win this game. I'm going to take Miami minus 9.5. The Denver Broncos and the Houston Texans. Now, I debated who's going to win this game. Now, now Houston got their first loss at home with C.J. Stroud. I believe it's, I think it's their second loss, excuse me. But now, I'm not, now Denver needs to win. Both teams need to win, by the way, to keep their playoff hopes alive. And no disrespect to C.J. Stroud, this could be a turning point for him with this game. So I'm going to take the Denver Broncos over the Houston Texans as an upset to win this game. On the line, though. Houston's favored by 3.5 in, in this game. I'm going to take Denver plus 3.5. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Carolina Panthers. Now for this game, I I was now that Frank Reich is gone, i almost going to pick Carolina to win that game. But now I'm not too convinced on that one since Tampa Bay and their defense. So I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tampa Bay over Carolina to win this game. On the line though, this is I'm going to get Carolina because you never know. Um, I'm going to... Because Tampa Bay is favored by 5.5 to win this game. We're going to take Carolina plus 5.5. The LA Rams and the Cleveland Browns. Now for this game. So now for this game. I don't know what to expect for, out of the Rams to, out of this. But it's going to be holding in the Roan in the, in the division. Now they're my disappointment team. Man, I just got, I'm kind of regretting to picking them to win the West. But anyways that being said. I'm going to take the LA Rams over the Cleveland Browns to win this game. On the line, though, the Rams are favored by four in this game. I'm going to take the Rams minus four. The Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. The rematch of the NFC Championship game last year. This could be an NFC title game again. We'll have to wait and see on that one. I'm really questioning why the spread is like that, but you'll get, I'll tell you in a, in a bit. But the way that Philadelphia played out against Buffalo, man, I don't know what to expect what they're going to do against San Francisco. So anyways... I think Philadelphia's going to pick up where they left off against the 49ers in the NFC Championship game. So I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles over the San Francisco 49ers to win this game. As an upset. That's right. You heard me. As an upset. Because San Francisco is favored to win this game by 2.5 to win this game. And because of that, I'm taking the Philadelphia Eagles plus 2.5. And, and for Sunday Night Football, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers. Now for this game, I kind of expect to have a, a big outrun for Kansas City on Sunday Night Football. Congratulations for Jordan Love getting his first Thanksgiving game. Anyways, but con continuing on, I think Kansas City and Green Bay. I think Kansas City is going to be too much for Jordan Love, so I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs over the Green Bay Packers to win this game. On the line, though, Kansas City is favored by 6.5 win this, win this game. I'm going to take Kansas City minus 6.5. Over and under, it's 42.5. I'm going to go over, over 42.5. And Monday Night Football, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals. As of right now, Cincinnati has no answer for what they can't run the ball. They can't throw the ball. They're, they're not moving the chains. That is not good. So I'm taking the Jacksonville Jaguars over the Cincinnati Bengals to win this game. On the line, though, Jacksonville is favored by 8.5 to win this game. I'm going to take Jacksonville minus 8.5. Over and under is 38. I'm going to go over 38.5. Okay, a big shout out this week is. My good old buddy Justin's Bridgewater's Finance on YouTube and Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. Because the reason why I'm wearing this is because I made a bet with him with the Thanksgiving Day game with Green Bay and Detroit. I he he thought that he was right about the upset with Green Bay winning winning against Detroit. That's exactly what happened. And that's because now because of that I get I told him if on his live stream I would wear this shirt on my Me thirteen pick video. That's what I did right here. So, here you go. So, congratulations, Justin's Bridgewater Finest on YouTube. You won the game on the, on Thanksgiving Day game. And, and now I get to wear this. So, anyways, that being said, 
Um, you can check out the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page in the description down below right here. Until then, this is Andrew Warren signing off saying rock out and eat your breakfast.